Alright, um, nice to meet you. Uh, so, you play quite an interesting character that in the uh, Persian universe, you play Esme, who works for the NFAA. Can you tell us a bit, uh, 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 tell us a bit about uh, her character? Yeah, my character is, like you said, Esme, Esmeralda Carmona. She, you know, she's a believer in a, the system, in the rules. She believes that the NFFA works, and she works for surveillance. Surveillance. This is a, a department that works not only throughout Purge Night, it works during the whole year. And it means that we're watching you, right? The government is watching you just to, to make sure you behave and then to, uh, to have the, the proof if you commit a crime and to uh, pursue whatever has to be pursued in order to maintain the peace in the society. So that's where she belongs, she thinks. She, the, the reason that Esme got into working for the NFFA was because she had a really traumatic experience with uh, her family and now she's looking for like something to save her and then she founds this, she founds that she's good at it, she's needed, um, she becomes really skilled at it. And then, as we discover uh, throughout the episodes, she um, she finds something, a, a big secret that the NFFA is hiding, and she feels betrayed by the system, and that's where when everything changes for her. So she decides she decides to change paths. Yeah, and I I think within the pilot we see that she seems very comfortable. She seems very trusting of this system. Um, and we see this with uh, some of the crime scenes. She's like a person walking by with a bomb and whatnot. Um, it seems like with her coworker, she's a bit at odds because what she does discover and in that purge night that we see in the first episode is someone uh, that she's uh, close with um, that ends up getting killed. Um, can you talk a little bit about that relationship or uh, tease a little bit? Yeah, I, yeah. I guess what we wanted to do with the first episode and Esme, yeah. we wanted to show that Esme has been there for a while mm -hmm. and that Vivian was like a new ingredient. She yeah. was a newbie. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Esme has to teach her how to mm -hmm. make her feel comfortable, but they're not friends still. They're not like, mm -hmm. she's just a new, a new uh, element in, in the department. And you know, Vivian respects Esme. She's probably yeah. heard a lot about Esmeralda. Yeah. Esme's like, we wanted to make Esme like the best of the whole department. Yeah. She's been there forever. Everyone goes and asks her, asks her questions, how to do stuff and whatever. She know, she has the know-how. Yeah. So she's a really trusted employee. So that's why it makes it more interesting when she wants to rebel against the NFFA because no one would expect that. Yeah. And the interesting thing also about the thing that she discovers is that not only uh, Drew Adams is some someone that she knew from the past, but she also discovers the fact that something is wrong. The way that she was purged mm -hmm. was not right. So that's, it's not only that she knew this person, mm -hmm. it's the, the way that it has, that it's, it's done, she feels that there's something up, and that's why she wants to pursue and, dis and, and, and you know, uh, dig in, you yeah. know, to see what she found. Because she's been, she's been in part of this process for quite a while, so she knows what, if something sticks out. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. can see, like, the red flags, you know, yeah. and there's, uh, Drew Adams, for her, is a definite, definite yeah. red flag, but she also don't, doesn't want to be, like, discovered by... Uh, anyone else and just mm -hmm. because she knows that her job in the NFA surveillance department is just to attack people just attack people mm -hmm. she, she's not supposed to get involved even if you know someone that is being purged yeah. you're not supposed to get involved you're not supposed to uh, do anything else the, you, the only thing that you have to do is tag that person and that's it you mentioned this uh, relationship with Vivian. I believe, like she just knew the girl from a uh, different district. Yeah. I I, uh, I laugh because I I work in IT and I've seen that role. I've I've been that person to ask the senior person and let you guys play it off really well in that case. Um, uh, what's this world of the NFA a, a like uh, behind the scenes? Uh, how's it into? Because uh, this story takes place between two purges, it's bookended, uh, uh, but these stories are also, I believe, interconnected. Uh, do we see, 
do you see Esme interacting with some of the other stories, or is she more standalone as an overall world building type uh, scenario? She, she interacts with one of the, the other stories. Okay. They, uh, they they found I think they collapse. Mm -hmm. That's a way of saying it. Yeah. But only one more story, okay. which is really interesting. But that's like second half of, of the season. Mm -hmm. And uh, final question, more of a fun one. Um, do you have a, your own perch plan in place? I have my own perch list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What well, other direction? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I, uh, no, I mean, I always think about like who would deserve. I don't know if I would do it, but yeah. the thing that I uh, that you can also see in this season is that you can actually hire people to do it so if yeah. you don't want to get your <laughs> your hands uh, your dirty. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. an option. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.